the seasons have changed. Now it's sharp skates that consume most of Jack Carlson's days. I've sharpened as long as I've done bikes. Sparks were flying last fall, too, when we stopped by Jack's garage. There's always a way. Jack's story of bikes he modified for kids who couldn't otherwise ride. No one can stop me! Aired first on Care 11. You may not remember. Then, like to ride across the country. Happened. You certainly remember that feeling of pure freedom. In Washington, D.C., Jack's story was viewed by Jean Peterson. I knew from the moment I saw that, that I needed to do something. A dental hygienist who just happened to notice in Jack's story his teeth. I turned to my husband and I said, wow, what a really nice guy. Somebody should do something nice for him. So this fits, blade will fit in this. Jack was at work when the phone rang. He goes, we want to fix your smile. I believe, you know, God told me you be that someone. He, he would never ask for help. And then other someones joined in. So this is an x-ray of Jack's Mouth. Maplewood dentist Scott Kyer and Michael Splett did for free Jack's x-rays. This is his upper left back molar that was decayed and infected. Eleven teeth missing, others in bad shape. And then these front ones are all decayed. Why didn't you have the work done? I couldn't afford it. A single dad who raised two kids on his own, then found room in his heart for other kids. Everybody's always told me I, I'm too nice and, and I've been taken and, and beaten up by it a couple times by being too nice and, and yeah. had to wonder to myself, why do I do this? Well, I just found out why. Washington, D.C. bound. Flight, hotel, and thousands of dollars worth of dental work. Let me go and numb you up here, okay? All given to Jack by Jean and her employer. Dr. Chong Lee. I mean, uh, Jean showed me the video of what he did for the kids who are physically challenged. That's the least I can do. After four days of suctioning and sightseeing, you ready? The bike guy gets a look at his new bite. You can smile now with no problems. Oh my gosh. Uh, Jack, that looks so good. You know, it just kind of makes what I do that much better. Look at the big girl, look at that. Seeing the expression on their face, I know how they feel now. All liquids, gels, and aerosols. There he is. Jack landed back in the Twin Cities, still flying. You look great. I have never in my life been treated so well as I was this past week. My entire life. I can't, I've... Kindness coming. They're the nicest people that you can meet and kindness going. The kids started it all, and it's time to get back to work for the kids. Boyd Hubert, Care 11 News, MSP International Airport. Ah.